Hi, this is the cool geek and this is the 15th video of the VLOOKUP series and we have yet another duplicate VLOOKUP video. If you have not watched the 9th video of the VLOOKUP series, please do watch it before you come to this particular example. Now, as usual, I have already created the unique ID by this formula. You can use this formula to create the unique ID if you have duplicate names on this particular table. And in the 9th video, I had put this particular attribute table to do the duplicate VLOOKUP but this time I'm just going to get rid of that extra attributes here, right? So I'm just going to go to the home tab and say clear all. Now, what I'm going to do different is I'm going to use a combo box to find the attributes based on which number it is in, right? So basically I'll say attribute one or a two or a three or a four, right? For that, I will use a data validation to create a combo box. I'll say data validation list and I'm going to just say one, two, three, four, five and six. Say okay now that you can decide this number based on how many at unique attributes you have i know i don't have more than six so i'm just going to use six as the maximum right so how do you do the vlookup we have created the unique value and it's going to be at the combination of the name and attribute right as as we have seen it in the ninth video so if i'll say vlookup the lookup value is this and the above value right so i'll fix that row there as usual comma the table array is going to be this particular table f4 comma and i want the attribute here right so that's going to be three comma exact match now once i've done that i've got the attribute for frank gf and kutbert so it's going to be copying like that yes now these are the first attributes of all these people right but how do i get the second attribute i can just simply select the drop down and I'll get the second attribute. I go to the third one, I get third attribute. Fourth one, I get the fourth attribute. Fifth, and it's saying not available. To correct the not available, obviously you just need to use if error. So I'm going to say if error, comma, not available, and close it. All right, so that takes care of all the cases that are having an error. And I get all the attributes correctly. Now, this is another way to display the values of the duplicate VLOOKUP. The ninth video has a different view altogether. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.